Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an affordable drugstore makeup haul. I really enjoy using drugstore makeup because it is very affordable. I don't always enjoy buying high-end makeup because it is pretty pricey. So I went to Target and I bought a little bag here and all this is makeup products. A few of these items I have never tried out before and I wanted to try. So Hopefully I enjoy them. Actually, one of the products that are in this bag, I did try out today, so I will let you know how I like it. I'm gonna start off actually with just this face lotion. It's not makeup, but I bought it. It's just a Neutrogena face lotion. I just needed a face lotion for nighttime because my daytime face lotion has SPF in it and I didn't want SPF at night. So I will start off with this. This is the Real Techniques beauty blender and I've been using this for years. I really, really love it. It's affordable and yeah, I think it does a really good job at applying my concealer and my foundation. So the first thing I will share with you guys is this makeup remover pen. This is actually a repurchase. I've also been using this for a few years now. I really love it because a lot of times when I put on my mascara, I always get it on my eyelids. So this is really good to remove that mascara from your eyelids. It's also really good if you do like a winged liner and you need to clean it up a little, this will definitely help you clean it up. Next is going to be this HD Under Eye Setting Powder in Sheer. Also a repurchase. I've been using this setting powder for under my eyes for a while. I really like how it applies and how it works. It's really affordable, only $3, and I recently ran out of mine, so I needed a new one. Next is going to be this color correcting stick for dark circles. I've never tried this out before, but I thought I would try it out. I have really, really big dark circles and bags under my eyes, and I've never used a correcting stick so I thought I would just try it out and hopefully it works well. Next is going to be this e.l.f. foundation brush. I wanted to buy this to use not for my foundation but for my concealer just to see if I like how my concealer applies better with a beauty blender or with a brush. Next is going to be this Wet n Wild eyeliner and it is in Black Noir. So it's just the, I think it's a felt tip little eyeliner and it's just in black. I needed some new eyeliner. Next is going to be by Maybelline. It is a lipstick. It is Gone Grage 760. And I did already try it out yesterday. And it's a really, really nice, like dark, dark, deep gray color. I'm not too crazy about how it looks alone but I really like how it looks when I mix it in with one of my nude color lipsticks. It came out really really nice when I mixed it with a, another lipstick. Next is going to be by Rimmel. It is their Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Creamy Beige. This is also a repeat buy. I love the way this sets my foundation whenever I do use liquid foundation. And then the last two items are going to be foundations. I'm really, really looking for a good drugstore foundation because I don't always like to use my high-end foundation because it is pretty pricey. So I needed to find a good drugstore foundation. So I picked up this Maybelline Fit Me in Matte Poreless and I picked up the color Warm Honey and then I picked up this one by CoverGirl. It is their True Blend in Classic Tan. The only thing that sucks though about buying foundation from drugstores is you can't test them out so you don't know which one is going to be your shade so you kind of just have to play the guessing game so I grabbed these two I actually just tried this one out today and I think it's just not my color when I was applying it it felt like it was way too orange and like right now I feel like my face and my neck is two different colors I try to fix it up with my powdered foundation trying to make it blend and not look as bad as it originally looked so I don't think I'm really going to be using this one because like I said I just think it's maybe a shade too dark or just too orange this is the other foundation that I have bought which was like I said in warm honey I'm thinking that this one might be a little better than this one you can already tell just in the packaging how much darker this one is from this one so hopefully this one works out I like that it's matte because I can get a little oily so hopefully this works out 
So yeah, that is going to be the last item that I purchased from Target for my makeup. If you guys have tried any of these items that I showed you, comment down below. Let me know how you like them. I'm really excited to try out a few of these items, especially the e.l.f. Dark Circle Corrector Stick because like I said, I have really, really dark circles and bags. So fingers crossed that that works out well. All right, guys, so like I said, this is going to be the end of the video. If you like today's video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out. And also, if you have not already, I would really love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And remember to hit that notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.